Hi guys, today I'm preparing for my two-day race which is coming up on Sunday and Monday and I'm going to start with my time trial bike because I want to ride my road bike later on today so what am I going to do to prepare for the race well first I'm going to do a thorough wash check out the tires for any cuts or imperfections that could cause punctures I'll replace my training chain for a race chain I have already cleaned my cassette with the ultrasonic cleaner and I'm going to do the same to my jockey wheels uh, afterwards I'm going to do a proper ball check go around the whole bike and then I think I'll be ready to go so let's not waste any more time and get into it okay the pulleys are not off and I also took the seals out to be able to wash them properly I used a stand knife for that I'm going to clean everything up the cage has quite some wax build up on it so uh, that's gonna go away now and I also I'm going to clean the jockey wheels themselves in my ultrasonic cleaner this bike didn't get uh, too much dirt and riding in poor conditions but still a cleaner drivetrain is always better so yeah this is my cleaner Just put it in there. It makes a quite annoying noise, so that's why I have it here. So let me just plug that in now. I already have my cleaner liquid mixed up in there. So it goes in. Junky was in the basket. Five minutes should be good enough. And I think I'm not going to need the heating now anyway, so I turn it off. Okay, I try the uh, bad noise. <coughs> so let's just leave it in there for a couple of minutes. Okay, the pulley wheels are now completely clean. They're basically as clean as new, and that's gonna be good for friction. I have also cleaned all the seals and spacers, so everything is now basically ready for relubrication with Celex Speed Oil and then installing. So that's what I'm going to do now. Yeah, just Put the seal on the back side first and then add a couple drops of this oil. Now actually if I was certain that the conditions are going to be good then I could run basically no seals at all for even a lot of friction but the weather has been quite poor lately, so you never know. I just stick to the seals for now. Yeah, as you can see, the seals add quite a lot of drag. But still spin really nicely. And this lower one seems to have a bit more drag to it, but unfortunately there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, okay. 
Now I'm going to put some thread lock on the screws and then we're ready to install. I'm putting on thread lock because well, they can't really tighten these screws too much. So that's just to make sure that they stay on their place. Okay, let's install the pulley wheels and then the race chain as well. Okay, the bike is now ready. Nice and clean. Well, almost spotlessly clean, I would say. These cleaning products do a really good job. Then the drive chain also very clean. Race chain is on. You have the powder version, the race chain, SRAM quick link uh, combination there. I've also checked the tires, no cuts whatsoever. All well, testers say that these quarter speeds are quite fragile. So far, that's not really my experience because I've run these in training and racing as well and not a single cut on any of the tires so that's not too fragile to me I've removed the bottle cage so the bike is now race ready I think one observation from the force one derailleur this chain is longer than the one I've had on for training to, of course to reduce the friction to have it as long as possible I think this is an uncut 116 link Shimano chain but if your chain tension is low then you lower than before then you have to add some B screw adjustment otherwise the derailleur won't like to shift on your biggest cock for some reason even if there's enough clearance so uh, that's one thing I've noticed I've also checked my quark battery battery that's at 85% so should be good enough you really do want to check it before the race because okay on road races it's not, it's not as important but you can't really pace a TT without knowing your power now it's just time to load it up on the track and then we're good to go this is a two day race so I'm also going to use my Madone and Basically, I'm going to apply the same steps on this bike. I also want to clean the jockey wheels. I also have a race chain prepared. I'm still going to test out these tires and break them in because they have this protective layer on still. So that's why I did the TT bike first because in the afternoon I'm going to the short ride on the Madone to see how it works and then do the same to this bike and then load everything up yeah the weather is also starting to get better now got a bit of sunshine coming in so hopefully it won't change uh, from this in the race okay so I think this is all for today in terms of maintenance I hope you have, some, have found some useful tips for race preparation. If you want to see more uh, tips or information in my videos regarding group sets or bikes, bike builds, then don't forget to tune in to my channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.